Hi, welcome to another Physionic video. Today we're going to be discussing the concept of peripheral resistance. We're going to quick over what it is and how it has an impact on our total blood pressure. So when you go into a pharmacy, go to a doctor's office, get your own blood pressure measured, and you put that cuff on and you get that number, the higher number on top, the lower number on the bottom, that is your blood pressure and peripheral resistance has an effect on creating that number and we will go over how it does that. So if that's what you're here to learn about then in a quick easy science-based video we will go over that concept. So stay tuned. So, talking about peripheral resistance. Peripheral resistance is, uh, let's see, how can I explain this? It is the amount of, for lack of a better word, catch that we have on our artery vessel uh, venous walls. So, obviously our arteries are all lined, a closed system, a circulatory system, the vascular system is all made up of different arteries, different vessels, etc, etc, and these have walls. So the amount of drag or catch that when blood goes past those walls, that is the amount of peripheral resistance. So the amount of resistance that we gain from or that we have from the blood passing through that particular area. So how does that specifically affect blood pressure, however, is the, is the heart has to pump at a particular amount of pressure. So push enough pressure to push blood through the circulatory system. So the heart being a central area pushes blood and if we have less peripheral resistance, then we have lower blood pressure because if we have less resistance, the heart has to push less hard and it has an easier time pushing blood throughout the system. However, if we have more peripheral resistance, then we have a harder time. The heart has a harder time and that is what ends up leading to higher blood pressure. However, I do want to say that is only one of the mechanisms by which we create blood pressure. One of the things that blood pressure as a whole, those two numbers, systolic over diastolic, can tell us about our circulatory system about our vasculature. So peripheral resistance is, is affected and contributes to blood pressure in a few ways. Uh, I'm not going to go over all of them in this, in this video, but uh, one of them is vasodilation, also the opposite being vasoconstriction. So vasodilation being the opening of those vessels, those blood vessels, and vasoconstriction of course being uh, the constriction, the uh, making those vessels much smaller. Uh, also blood volume, the amount of blood volume that you have can also have an impact uh, and a bunch of other factors but th those are just a few of them just wanted to throw those out there. So that is that. Hopefully I answered the question for you. If you'd like to know more details on uh, peripheral resistance then feel free to check out the article which is linked below. Also my peer-reviewed sources are linked in that article and, of course, this is a smaller video to a much larger video on the mechanisms of blood pressure, so feel free to check out all of that video. And, if you did find the video informational, then please, please, please subscribe. It certainly means quite a bit to me. Like, share, subscribe to the, to the channel, to the video, and uh, I will catch you in the next one. Have a good one.